So hard when you're doing projects, actually filming. So everybody who films while they're actually doing the project, I'm quite impressed because you know it's at the camera, it takes time and all that stuff. So I got my boards cut that are gonna be the surround that hold the tank down, and I'm gonna do one board across. The design's kind of changed here and there. And I'm gonna use a piece of aluminum. I'm gonna through bolt through the the, the uh, bunks here and probably fender wash will be enough. I'm figuring I don't plan on flipping the boat. And if that happens, it can't go that far anyway because there's not enough. There's about three inches above it on the cockpit sole. So, um, so on the here, I had to cut my stainless steel grate that I just made. I had to cut that down because I'm going to put the part that's underneath the uh, tank. I put the solid hatch back in. So I'll still be able to get in there and get to the pump. And it'll still be able to dry out a little better having the mesh. So, um, so I'm gonna get to this. It's so much fun crawling under here on a nice Friday night. I do have a brewski, so ain't going too bad. So, uh, if I make some progress, maybe I'll do another progress report. Fun, fun, fun. Hello again. I was working down there, but my uh, my big cordless drill doesn't fit under there, so. I had to dig up my small one and it was dead so it's charging so we moved on to mounting the tank in its place to running the hose so I got the hose running the supply line it runs on there that hatch and then now I'm mounting the, the pump mount I made for the sidewall so there is a cover goes on there like so but I'm thinking of I don't know if I'm gonna have room I wanted to be able to put the filter here too but I'm gonna put an inline filter a Sawyer filter but I think it's gonna go it's gonna go in the back it'll be easier to change out I think if it's back there and I don't think it's much room here so I thought it was gonna be so but we got the hose runs down under this cabinet or compartment goes all the way under so then I have the filler filler hose and stuff but I'll do that after I get the tank all mounted so if I don't get these in tonight because I'm about done I'll wait tomorrow when the battery's charged instead of trying to deal with it so making progress for the water tank I like to get it done so I can move on to other things Okay, back in the boat today. It's a nice sunny day. I got the first board in. Got my found my drill. Makes it much easier getting in there. Just realized I gotta move these little wooden clips that help hold the cushions in because they're in the way the main support's gonna hold the tank in. So uh, getting there and typical you get in here and you start working and you forget to take video. So I got the boards and these are gonna go along the they're gonna go along the side and then I'm putting in dropping in these boards on the sides of the tank to help hold the tank in and there's a cross board that's gonna go across the tank and the straps gonna go across the center I had the I already had the uh, composite decking board the only one thing I say it really is heavy that's the only bad thing about it, but um, but it shouldn't rot. That's the one good thing about it, and it shouldn't really expand or anything with water. But it does weigh a little bit. All this wood in itself weighs about three pounds, if not four. So, but I'm gonna continue working, and I'll take some more video. Be 
can see how tight it is. That's the only thing about having a smaller boat. Everything is tighter. It also means that everything's cheaper, but everything's smaller. Let me get the bottom brackets in there. I gotta do the front one. First, gonna vacuum. I'm just gonna show that's a little bit of bills that's in the skipper. I don't know if they're all the same. And I have some cracking in the gel coats. This was reed fiberglass. I have a concrete under the keel. There's the bilge pump I finally added. It's only been there about a year or two. So I've always had to hand one. Put one little extra block behind this piece because I had to cut the back bar because that's where the uh, the water supply comes out and kind of it's still mounted low in the way I'm blocking it. So one little back piece here and then I'm done. I forgot I did I did go through and filled the tank up some and made marks for I guess it was basically a little bit over an inch for a gallon. So this way I'll be able to just take a look down here and see um, how much water we're using. So I have I'm using the compost that's cut down all the way to pull it, the tank in there. And then this bar contraption thing is going to go over the top and I'm going to have aluminum strip that's going to come across. This is going to has the slot that it slips into. And then the aluminum is going to be bent. It's going to get through bolted through the top here, and I'll use some fender washers to hold that down. So, here I'm going to try to slip it in there, and I'll show you how it's going to go. It's a little bit tighter than I expected it to be on the tank. Oh, sorry about that. Drops in, so. You can see, I'm, I'm going to get my uh, rasp, and I'm going to rasp this down a little bit, so there'll be a groove that the aluminum will rest in, and I might do the center screw in the in the top, too. But I don't want it to go through. I don't think it's going to go through and punch the top, since the top. So it's going down. So this is going to come down. It's going to get bent and come over and through bolted. I don't really plan on flipping over, and if there's water in it, I don't think it's really going to come out here. It's pretty tight, but... I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, I thought the aluminum would be better than using. I was going to use a come along strap, but I think the aluminum is going to be better. So, it's pretty much done. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the notch, that, the, the vertical. And they'll also help because these tanks are pretty thin. So, this will help hold the tank in from when it gets filled. Also, it's getting there. Crawl all the way in the back here, and this is the side of the, the cockpit. So pretty much the filler is going to go, that's the end of the back of the lazarette. Um, so the fill is going to go here, pipe's going to come down. Here's the, the vent fitting, and then there I put in a T so I can drain the tank, or the bulk of the tank, even if there's a little bit of water in it, it's fine. And then that's the T that's going to go over to the hose. It's right there. There's some. There's still play of ho in the in the compartment over there for the hose. And then the filler is right there. That's going to come over, wrap around, and go in here. And it's it's going to come in. It is going to be on the side that I sit on, the steady side. But it's going to be back far enough that I don't think it's going to be an issue. So, and I can still get that grate out. And I know it'll be tight to get to. The pump if I have to take it out but I can do it even if I have to take this back bar unscrew the back bar so and I don't know might be enough room to stick an extra gallon and a half half gallon of water back there too but it's probably just gonna be dead space okay let me go finish up what I gotta do up front Okay, I'm gonna go doing the putting the made a template, cutting my hole. You can see the outside ring and the inside ring. And then the cockpit, and here's the the uh, RV filler. 
And I gotta do a little more filing because I'm trying not to make it too small. I'm gonna have to clean up the fiberglass because I forgot to tape it. So I got a little bit more. I gotta trim and to fit that in. So that's where it's gonna go. Probably need to use a have a funnel to get the water in there. But so I just got that done. Do a little more filing and uh, we can get that set. Hook the hose up. We'll be be ready. Yeah, no, coming along, I mean. <laughs> well, it's in. I forgot to clean the fiberglass from the saw beforehand, so I'm going to have to do that. I'll have to wait till, till all the uh, silicone dries. And then I'll get that done. I'll do some more silicone inside, too, yet. Here's the shot of the bracket on fabricating for the water tank. It's going to go across the tank, go across the top. These go down into the slots on the side. These come up the side. This way it'll help support the side of the tank. When it fills, it doesn't it, it, you know, doesn't belly out. And these are going to be drilled. It's going to be through bolted with a stainless steel plate underneath the, uh, the SETI tops. And I'm going to do two pop rivets here. This side will get pop rivets, and the same thing. This is going to be through bolted. That's what's going to hold it down, and then keep this thing from moving around and buckling the center. I'm going to do one center and a counter sink under here, and this is going to get through bolted <coughs> with a washer on top to hold this together. This way, when I pull up, when I pull out the block if I have to take out the tank, this all will come together out as one unit, and this will give it some more support in the center. Really, the, these ends are what's really holding it down. So I'm decided. I have to check if I have bolts. Maybe I will through bolt this and this. I don't know too. So I haven't made that decision. Don't finish fabricating it tonight. Considering originally I was going to bend these down and over, and then I realized it'd be more structurally sound, and if I just 45 it. So that was kind of a change. So I'm glad I waited to do that. So I said I don't expect to get knocked down, but I don't want the tank to go flying too much. So, better safe than sorry. But it's coming along. I'm going to go put some water in the tank now and see if anything's leaking. I think the fittings are, fittings are leaking. Okay, the water tank's all in. See the fill hose and the vent hose come down, sneaking into the back. From the side, I got the bracket in bolted through the bunk there. Board's going around. Board comes across the top. And we'll bolt it on. Two bolt on this side. And they put a piece of plastic bucket as a washer underneath between the fiberglass and the aluminum. So hopefully it won't be squeaking. So and I did check the cooler that I'm I'm fabricating out of two inch or I guess two and three eighths foam with two layers of aluminum foil. I'm gonna fiberglass it with uh, cloth and West System epoxy, and that's gonna fit right here. And it is enough space to get from here, the board here, to the top of the cooler. Actually, get a whole full gallon of milk, even though I rarely ever take that. But that was kind of like what I was hoping for. The little be three inches. Um, and it'll give me like three different jogs for the seal. So, but this project is done, and the water pump is here. And I'll have to get a cup and pump some water and show you how it works. There you go. See how the pump works? I should have put my helmet thing on to do this. Let's see if we can. I can do it. Oh. Well, it held, held its prime, that's for sure. <laughs> Pretty darn good. <laughs> I think I got most of the water in the... Most of the water got into the cup. Not that I... I didn't expect it to shoot out like that. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. Boom. I already pumped some yesterday. So, I guess there's some there. It's not holding total, but... Considering I'm trying to do this holding it, I'm considering that success. <laughs> so, I got the paper.
towels will clean that up. So the water tank is all installed, battened down, and the pump's all ready to go. So that project is done. We're going to be going, uh, the one thing I'm, I'm adding, and I was just testing, I just bought a new LED, high intense LED light, and this is going to go back, I've just got it temporary wired up here in the panel, but and I bought the wire, I'm going to run wire down, and I'm making a little block to go in front of the 50 watt solar panel, so that light's going to sh shine forward, because no one really sits on the back <clears throat> when we're eating. And a lot of times we're running late if we're playing around at the beach. I'm cooking dinner in the dark. It does happen. But this way, if we're sitting on the table, we can sit outside. And if they want to play cards, it'll give us enough light. It'll shine right down. Um, the amber lights work good in the <clears throat> inside the cockpit. If you just want a little bit of glow so you can walk around and not ruin your night vision. But if you're actually eating or doing something, I really don't have a white light, light in the cockpit. And I originally was going to stick them over here. But people sit against these walls bulkheads so it's not going to be a good position over there is going to be the best so um, I'm going to be wiring that up so that's the project's going to get done and then I got to finish cutting the plates out so we'll be mounting I got to bring out the grill so we can figure the spacing between the 20 amp panel and the 50 watt solar panel so I can still get to the grill so that might have to slide over so I got to get the grill down from the attic to figure out how all that spacing works out but that's the next project I'm going to do the wiring first um, then set the the uh, the new uh, solar panel mount and get that fixed and then I can get that panel wired in to the uh, existing 50 watt panel. So getting there to this is the next really big project, getting this one done and everything else is kind of minor. So hoping to get the boat in definitely before Memorial Day this year. That's for sure. Okay, that's it from Panache. Bye. I didn't take a shot from in the cabin looking back at the tank. That space that where the tank is, water tank is, um, I know I have it marked at 15. It's supposed to be a 16 gallon tank. Um, I think I had my gallon jugs full more. I was using milk jugs to uh, for the height of the water. And I think I actually had them filled too much. And my numbers meant off. But the reality is, we're not going to be able to get the last gallon or so of water out of that tank anyway. So or two, so in reality, it's really a 14 gallon tank, I think, just the way the fittings are, um, but that space has never had anything in it, so, and right now, the water tank, I've got probably more water than we've ever, they'll give me the capability to carry more water than we've ever had, so, if me and Ryan do go to the Keys, my son, this summer, we should have plenty, and if I get the new cooler all finished, um, I think two things of ice will last in there forever, because the igloo does pretty good, um, and that has like no foam in it, so a real foam cooler would really be nice. And if I ever did get the this to the side in the back wall there of the Lazaret, the SETI, that's where the compressor would go. If I did go ahead and, and get a refrigeration system, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get that 24 footer before I I do that, or I sure hope so. But that gives you an idea. Um, it really fit in there really good. I'm happy how it worked out so far. I guess the other thing that I'm, I'm debating on, this will be a project that happens later on. I've been running one 120 amp hour battery in the valve compartment. And, uh, and I was keeping it in a box, but I had been checking it to see if I can get two in here. I can get two batteries in here. I got to cut these slots here, and I know the the guy who copied this from, I, now I understand why he had the slots cut out there. Um, but I'm going to have to raise the floor, make the, with foam and, and plywood and re-fiberglass in. I really had done one for one, but it won't fit, the batteries won't fit in a box. Not that they really need to be in a box anyway. So, um, so I haven't debated. We'll see how much time I have. Um, with the 70 watt solar panel, I think we'll be fine with the 120 amp battery. I don't see myself getting refrigeration, so that would be the only big draw where I needed two batteries. So um, there's a good chance I, this is going to go and just be and waiting. Um, you know, heck, I could do always could do this while the boat's in the water, but we'll 
we'll see whether I want to do it or not. These are just to keep the battery it's working. Um, and I think we'll be fine even if we go to, uh, to the Keys again this summer. Um, even staying on the boat with now having 170 watts of power. Um, it'd probably be better off just to change out the ch charge controller under here to a more efficient unit and then probably give us plenty of power. Everything now on the boat is LED. Um, biggest draw is really, I think, my cassette deck. And uh, if I have the depth sounder, and we rarely use the VHF anyway. So but that's another project. It's probably on hold, but I at least was checking it out. It will work, so we'll see. Um, I'll go more